you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. That's right, I did it. I turned this deck into Monster Mash. Um, you might recall the recurring Nightmare deck played a couple days ago. Everyone really seemed to like it. So I teased that I had maybe another idea, um, which was, of course, Monster Mash, Recurring Nightmare. Because why would we play other spell traps? Recurring Nightmare is the only one we need. Um, so originally, I tried to like play a Montage Dragon version of this, but it kind of just didn't end up working out. So I went back to the Quick Draw stuff. I think it's probably the best way to do it. And I ended up with this. So as you can see, we are on Triple Gallus, Triple Witch. Gallus is actually searchable off Sphere, which is a very cool thing. We're still on the same Machina package as before with one Machina Force. But primarily, we want to be relying on that Orichalcos Shunaros to just keep reviving our fortresses. We got Triple Sphere of Chaos, Triple Vader, the one level leader. So the same 10... Uh, recurring Nightmare Targets, we've got Quick Draw with Dandy, Sangan, and then Trooper Raikou to mill our stuff. We got Gore's Trag Dad, and I also threw in a Neospatian Grand Mole, because it's another neat thing you can search off Sphere that helps problem solve. So, that's the build. I think we played three matches with it, so let's go look at those. First one was up against Hero Beat, some kind of Hero Beat, I think it was. Um, oh yeah, they opened Future Fusion Dust Shoot, so I just scoop game one. Like... <laughs> Unironically, I actually think it's kind of the play because we're playing Monster Mash and we just don't want them bringing in their pre in game two. Um, and I didn't think I was winning that one, so we just scoop and now hopefully win this one and then like somehow win game three. That's the plan. We're just treating this like it's game one essentially, so we only have to play one post board game effectively. Um, so we're just uh, we're just taking trades pretty good. We pitch the fortress for hand size at end phase. That's fine. We drop Trag. Trag can go ahead and force out the Gemini Spark here. Then we can go summon Gear Frame, get another force, revive the Machina Fortress, confident that our opponent didn't see we were playing anything, so they're not playing Cyber Dragon. And the opponent is uh, just going to draw into a dead mind con, set a bunch of stuff. We hit into the Plague. Dies. We set Raikou... They draw, they go Torrential, kind of suboptimal Torrential for them, though. Two for two, and they had to go, like, minus tempo using it on their own turn. Um, the Soul Release, this is why you don't side before you see what your opponent's playing. The Soul Release was completely worthless. Like, we didn't have any kind of recurring nightmare set up. It banished the Fortress, I guess, so if we top decked, like, a Shunaros, maybe. But, yeah, obviously not very good. Now, we are just going to Gores to minimize damage here and go for the Black Rose play. The only way this doesn't work is if one of the top two cards happens to be the third Recurring Nightmare, which would really suck. <laughs> be a crappy way to lose, but we're in luck. We just make Black Rose clear at all. We go set Raikou, and we draw the third Recurring. And then here, uh, I made a misplay. I just, like, forgot Shooter Rose was in my grave, so obviously I could just pitch Vader, make Nitro Warrior, activate Recurring Nightmare, attack for game with Nitro Warrior. But I just don't realize, so I'm like, oh, I guess these Recurring Nightmares are all dead. Lamal, no, I don't want to use these good cards that are in my hand, but actually, like, we could have just used them. We just we just opted not to for some reason, so uh, we just win the game here, though. Yeah, I mean, we make, um, make Junk Archer, kill the set, and then attack. So we managed to pull out a pretty easy win in game number two, game number three. Um, our hand is, like, fine, I guess. I don't know. I'm not 100%. Oh, we draw a Trooper, which is pretty good. I'd say this is a solid hand. So we probably just go for the Crash, given that we have the Gores here backing us up. Opponent going to summon Alias Swing. We don't drop Gores. I want to go for the Trooper instead, which is what we do. They end up sparking the Trooper, which is just so sad. Um, and then we end fair. Or we main two summon the Fortress so we don't have to pitch for hand size. Then we activate a Recurring Nightmare to add back a Sphere and a Battle Fader. Opponent's going to do some plays, activate Miracle. I make a really weird choice here where I decide to Fader. And then I'm like, actually, I want this draw, so I'm going to hit for 17. Um, maybe I should just, like, gores. I don't know. Um, but we get our draw. We draw another fader, so never punished. And we go for the Black Rose play. Going to absolutely blow him out again. Um, just, like, killing four cards. Opponent sets a knock. They special side draw knock our guy, but that's fine. Um, we can actually just, like, fortress with this side draw. So we go Sphere, search a Grand Mole, make Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon and attack for 2,000, and we're up a billion cards at this point, so feeling pretty good. They top deck a Miracle, which is fine, but we have Tragodia, and Tragodia is just going to trade one for one with this Ab Zero. No problem. We go main two, summon the Gear Frame out of Fortress, I think. Yeah, we still don't have one in rotation somehow. 
Uh, opponent's gonna summon an alias. Very good top deck, given that they have that Gemini Spark. We just pass. Like, we're actually just... I don't want to hit into a D prison. That's like the worst case scenario for us. So they actually hit into it. We just kill their dude. We attack with Sangan. And we're just kind of beating their stuff in. They don't have a lot of great plays here. We revive Fortress again. It gets compulsed, Lamau. And we're just... Sangan beats. Sangan beats. They draw another Soul Release, which... Wait, are they on two of those? Was I think that last one was from the last game. But I don't know. I think the Soul Release is kind of worthless. There's no... It's pretty mid. It's pretty mid for sure. Um, so we just uh, we just start going in, and they don't have any real back row here. They just have a soul release and some gem sparks and heavy storms, so they could see the game. And then I played another match for this um, against the same opponent, so they're gonna have an opportunity to get some revenge here. Uh, game one, our hand is decent, definitely decent. Um, let's see, so we can just make drill. That seems pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> definitely seems nice. I think we set the Raikou and it gets mind conned, which does kind of suck not the end of the world it's the only it's not technically a plus uh because also they don't sync with it and they just kill a dandy token so the mine con was pretty suboptimal for what it would have been um given that it was on a raiko so here we just uh i start having my guy attacking because like i don't feel like we're getting much other value out of him so I might as well just play into stuff they actually didn't set deep prison which was strange but now they're gonna set it so our our drill boy is finally going to be outed at this point um Maybe I should have set the Sangan here to try and bait something. Instead, I set the Raiko and it gets sparked. Uh, so I could have potentially bamboozled the opponent here. Um, maybe a little bit of a misplay. We go for the Black Rose thing, which is only going to be stopped if they have Hero Blast. But unfortunately, they do. Um, so that really sucks. And they killed the right one, too, because we have another Gallus. Um, so we're just going to be eating some damage here. We don't have a lot of pressure. They draw another Hero Blast. We bring back... The Fortress, which is nice. It's just going to hit over the Alias. They don't have a great out except Catastrophe, which is a pretty great out. So now I just set past. They hit over the Sangan. We get a Grand Mull. And then I think we do Raiko the Monster. We mill three. We have Recurring Nightmare Live. We add some cards. And then we Tribute for Sphere. That Sphere is going to get Hero Blast resolved on it again, unfortunately. Um, pretty rough. So they add back an alias, and then we just pass. I decide to fader here in case of honest. Maybe I shouldn't have, because um, now they're just going to ab zero into make Brionic and kill me, so I scoop it up. All right, next game. Um, I feel like I probably should have won that game one with what I had. Maybe I, I maybe I screwed up somehow. I'm not really sure. Uh, this game, though, what we have kind of sucks. Just like we have two quick draw. We have two Raikou. This is just not great, right? So we're going to go ahead and crash our gear frame, I guess. It's the best play we have, but it's not great. Um, and then they top deck Spark to make things worse, so they could set it. Now we go hit in with this, force out Spark. Okay, that's decent. It puts the Fortress in the grave. Here we go Raikou, but it gets Chain Disappearance, so now we can't really tribute it for Sphere. Um, for some reason, they don't fortress me here instead they opt to use their miracle fusion which is very strange i think they probably should have just held that miracle for later when they had waters and used the sidra for what sidra is for we're gonna go brain all right that trades two for one very nice we summon the grand mall it's gonna get outed but it's fine opponent um just grabs another alias and then we get we end up in this weird situation where we sided really wrong for this game number two um we like took out too many important engine cards so we just like run out of gas and uh have to have to just like wait till we deck out or something i forget um but yeah it's, it's obviously we just don't have any more pressure um we would need like we draw storm but it's like what do i do even if the storm resolves we don't have we have a fader and two crows in our hand uh so we're just like all okay, right go for it now i guess okay they had the solemn so now we're just like waiting for some con we got to draw like cold wave and then quick draw or something the third quick draw on our deck i guess that's the plan i'm not really sure we draw the wave and now we fader and now we just start setting crows uh, definitely probably shouldn't have sided all three of these in this matchup maybe just one would be fine i'm not really sure uh, we get end phase typhoon which why is typhoon in game three by the way that's kind of wild kind of wild decision by the opponent they soul release but it doesn't matter because like we sided out anything that cares about soul release 
So we do Cold Wave, we can hit over everything, but like I know at this point they have Cyber Dragon in their hand. So I think I just concede and then move on with my life. Like, yeah, this is over. Ah, all right. Rough one. Rough one. Um, not too much we could have done there in game. I don't know. I felt like game one. Game one should have been winnable. Game two, I just like sided poorly, but it might have been winnable if I hadn't done that. So I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, last match is up against some like Vayu Norlurus thing. We go first. I decide that the best play to do is summon gear frame pass. Um, like, set Raikou pass. It's just a really, like, predictable kind of turn one play that lots of decks have good answers for. Here, we go for the Witch, and we hit the Dandelion, which is pretty good. Pretty good. It lets us make Drill. Then we also drop the Fortress like we were planning to. We make Catastra to out the Jane without having to worry about Honest, which I don't think they're playing, but... You know, just to play around stuff. They draw, they go Greffer, Pitch, Plague. They drop Sork, and then they banish, make Thought Ruler, but... Actually, they had Burial. They could have just outed my Drill Warrior. Why didn't they do that? <laughs> oh, why didn't they do that? That's crazy. That's crazy. I remember, I think in Game 2, they also... Or maybe I'm just thinking of Game 1. Game 1, where, like, this turns out to be Burial, and I'm like, bro, why didn't you out my Drill? <laughs> um, at least I think that's what happens. So we hit in with everything. I kind of played into Torrential a little there, and I didn't need to, so that was maybe not smart. Here they just, like, forgot to burial my drill. I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> Why didn't you burial my drill? But uh, you know what? We take those. Drill's going to come back, add Witch, and then we, or no, add added Gear Frame so that we can pitch the third dark so it can summon Dad and just win. I see. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. On to game number two. Yeah, I think it was just that instance with the burial i don't think they had a game too wow their hand is nuts actually i was like afk during this turn i didn't see any of this happen but apparently they just opened like a lower charge recharge kind of wild but our hand is kind of nuts too and they don't have back row we can just make double drill warrior right um which generally i wouldn't advise doing but i just said like fuck it this game so <laughs> we make two of them we start attacking with drills we start banishing the drills and, uh, yeah, it's going to become a real nuisance for the opponent unless they have some crazy six-card combo OTK through my field, which would definitely require, like, Dark Armed or something. I don't know. Um, so they flip Sangin, they Synchro, they hit over everything. But, I mean, we got two drills coming back. So <laughs> this one is just, like, over, over, right? We're just going to be going insanely plus. So we hit over all their stuff. We, like, pitch Dandy, and now we have Fader in our hand, so we don't have to have to worry about some, like, Dark Arm Dragon OTK. They had... They drew Burial again. They drew Burial again! They could have outed both drills, but they just didn't. <laughs> oh, this is a wild... I didn't know about this. I did not know about this going in. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. That's why you don't make double drill, by the way. <laughs> just a little... Just a quick PSA for the kids out there, but yeah um that was a match wild all right that's been the monster match build to be honest i think it's probably worse than the other one so i'm gonna work on optimizing the other one instead uh, that's where i plan to go moving forward it's all because i couldn't make a montage dragon work if, if i'm not if i'm not playing montage dragon it's like why am i even playing monster match at this point you know that's how i feel all right that's gonna be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed as always be sure to like comment and subscribe Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.